Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. I want to talk about the comet tonight because we get a really cool possibility. Now, this all is dependent on how good of a view of the northwest sky you have. And I'll talk more about that. But first, let's talk about this cool phenomenon tonight where the space station and the comet are going to be really close together. So what we're looking at here is the view from Charlotte at around um, 10.52. So if you're not used to 24-hour clocks, that's a 10.52 p.m. tonight. You can see the comet and the space station will be very close together. So I'm playing it in real time as it should look. Um, and these lines I put on here, this is 10 degrees above the horizon. This is 20 degrees. So the comet's really low, like five, six degrees above the horizon. The International Space Station is going to peak out around 10 degrees. So this is super low. You're looking through a lot of haze and you're also looking um, through a lot of light pollution down there. So the higher in the sky things are, the easier they are to see, mainly because, you know, you're looking through less atmosphere. So if you do have a view of the northwest sky, especially way down to five degrees, this will be kind of cool to see the space station passing nearby. Now, without the space station, let's talk about how, what it's like to look for this comet. So the first thing, I'm going to widen back out and I'm going to back up here into the evening. So we're going to go to sunset. And the reason I'm going to sunset is I think it helps to see where the sun sets in the sky. So this is a view of western sky, northwest. Uh, north here. So we're looking northwest. So the sun actually sets a little bit in the northwest sky. You may not know that um, this time of year uh, in the summer. It actually rises a little bit in the northeast and sets a little bit in the northwest. As we go through time, the sun starts shifting to the southwest and the southeast. That's why the days get shorter because when the sun does this, it takes a lot longer to go across the sky. So just, you know, that's how that's how we know we, we live on a, on, a, on a round planet. That's another reason we know this. So let's go through time and we'll show you where the, the comet is. Obviously, you don't see it during the day. It's so dim um, and the daylight kind of washes out. So there's the sun going down. Um, and again, this is about 839, 38, 37, depending where you are. So let's go to about uh, 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Excuse me. 9 o'clock is when we start having twilight. It's still not visible at 9.04. So this is about 20 degrees. It's way up there, but you won't see it. Let's go to about 9.30. So 9.25. Let's go 9.30. 9.30 seems to be the time frame where I, I've seen people start to see it. I saw it around 9.30. But I'll be honest with you, a full hour after sunset, which is going to be around 9.40, is when obviously more stars start showing up. And you can see uh, we're past twilight. We're past dusk. Um, but as we get closer to 10 o'clock tonight, I'm going to go to about uh, 9.55. Um, it gets close. It's about 12 degrees. So this is 10 degrees above the horizon. This is 15. It's about 12 or 13 degrees above the horizon. So how do you find this thing? Well, I'm going to turn on the constellations because the constellations have helped me. Um, you know, this is about 320 degrees on a compass northwest, but a lot of folks have trouble understanding that. So let's look for the Big Dipper. And if you're not familiar with the Big Dipper, it's actually part of Ursa Major, which is the dog constellation. You can see there's a dog's head, there's the tail, that's the Big Dipper. Here's its back legs and front legs. So look for Ursa Major's front legs. So the Big Dipper is here and you can find these two stars pretty easily once it gets dark. Um, these two stars are in the front paw of Ursa Major. And you'll see just to the lower right of it is where you should be looking. So tonight it's going to be really close to that paw, um, right around 9.56. If you wait till about 10 o'clock, they're moving together. Um, they'll still be together, but they'll be around 10 degrees. So to me, the best time tonight, let's go to about, uh, I'm going to stop this at around 10.10. Let's go 10.15. Because 10.15, you're well after sunset. You should have no twilight left. Um, it'll be dark enough and it's still almost 10 degrees above the horizon. That's enough to get it above most of the trees and everything else that you'll see out there. So again, you're going to be looking northwest. There's the Big Dipper, Ursa Major, um, the dog head. There's the dog paw. That's where you want to look tonight. And again, the time, this is around 1015. So 945 to 1015. Let's go into time. We'll go all the way to 1030. Um, you can see this much later tonight. That's the other thing. So it gets darker. Now it's getting lower in the sky, but much higher than it's been the last couple of nights. The best combination to see this thing is you want the darkest skies and the highest in the sky. So, you know, 1030, it's still high enough. I think most of us will see it. Now, here's the other problem. If, if, if there's a city over here or a town or a parking lot or mall, and there's all kinds of lights shining up here, they're going to give you a big haze. You know, you've seen light pollution coming up. It's hard to see. Up here, it would be easier, but lower in the sky, it's tough. So find a dark spot, or if you're in a city or town, 
go on the west side so you're not looking back through the city lights. So even in Charlotte, if you go to the west side of town and look, or you get south or north of Charlotte a little bit so you're not looking through all the lights, it actually makes it pretty easy. And again, if you want to check out the space station, here's the time the space station comes by. Right there. That's when it'll be passing by. So good night to check out the comet. If you can't see it, don't worry. I posted on my page. It should be visible the next several nights into next week. The big question is, is it going to be dimmer? Now, the other thing I'll tell you, I've had to use binoculars, a camera, something to help me spot this because initially it's not real visible at the naked eye unless you're later into the evening and way out away from the city lights. Hope this helps. Good hunting tonight. Either way, you get to see the space station again, which is always a cool event to see.